because we're getting straight into it, all right? Let's do it. I just want to start us off by looking at the any color stock, <laughs> which is down 15.13% 15 15 in the past five days. <laughs> I want to go listen to the video um, of the message from Ninja Sanji um, that they played yesterday, which was on uh, Alera Pandora's channel. I just want to say, I feel so bad for her letting them put it on her channel because I feel like that is going to do so much damage to her. So dumb. So dumb that they uh, put it on her channel. Yeah, it's really fucked. So let's, let's all listen again. Um, and maybe we can add some stuff and break it down a little bit. Hi, Mia, what's up? I wonder if she even was given choice. I will say this before we start. I do not think that they were given a choice to uh, decide that they wanted to take part in this or not. This is Alira Pandora. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. Blacks and like the company. Oh, great. You didn't have to do them like also that. Present here with me, and we would like to take some time to address the events surrounding <laughs> Zelentatsky's contract termination. Black company. You know what's bad? You know what's so bad when the CEO... <laughs> We're going to get into the CEO's um, apology sure. later, but... You know what's so funny? Look at the background. <laughs> You're like, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're totally not a black company. What the fuck is this background? Like, why would you not? Uh, if your company is any color, but there's no color except black and white. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, my God. So bad. Hey, everyone. Hello. Um, to preface... We have discussed with any color staff so and our legal team about what we are able to say. However, due to how sensitive the situation is, please do keep in mind that there are limits to what we're able to share. So remember, chat, um, there are lawyers involved on both sides. It might not only be just Ninja Sanji restricting, but uh, also their lawyers might be restricting uh, what they're able to say. So just remember that. So just keep that in mind, chat. And the company have been affected deeply and are taking the situation very seriously. Everything that will be discussed has been approved by our lawyers or is based solely on our personal experiences. It, it, I, would, I would uh, say, chat, uh, you know, take a look at the comments because they really do reflect how most of us feel. What we know this is scripted. There is something very important that it's one hundred percent scripted. Yen feels need to be made very clear. I know it's Lara on work is being Japan. Do She's not condone harassment hostage. of any kind to any of the parties yep, involved. Basically, after discussion with the members of Niji Sanji Yen as a collective, I volunteered for my channel to be used for this stream. I don't believe that for a second. She's like. I volunteered blinking five times. You can't see me. Dear God, save me. I volunteered my channel. I volunteered my channel at gunpoint. Please save me. That that sounds horribly scripted. Just gonna say. Sounds horribly scripted. Additionally, we that there will also be a video releasing regarding the situation from Tazmi san directly a few hours following the stream. But what we say on this stream Some of you may die, and our own but it's feelings. a sacrifice need Sanji is willing to make. I'd like to first apologize. If great, it's, it, it, your time has come, great. Worry. Over the past month, staff received documents from Selene's lawyer containing examples of her claimed experiences under any color. So here we arise at problem number one, Chai. Here we go <laughs> with problem number one. Why are there documents that Celine gave to Ninja Sanji exclusively to them that you shared with the talents. Problem number one. Problem number one. Hello. And again, I'm gonna point out as we go, I have a ton of things to cover, chat. So I don't get too upset yet because uh, Ninja Sanji did reply to this particular thing. Yeah, we declare. I didn't feel like that was a bad translation, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's big yikes. That makes no sense. These it's supposed to be private, exactly. Included personal information of some livers, and when it was sent to us, 
we learned that there was a potential that this information could be made public. Some of the information poses a risk to our personal safety and puts some of us at risk of doxing. Notably, but if it's a legal document, it's confidential. So why were you, again, why were you given this information? Uh, again, if this is the lawyer, a third party, why were you given any of that information? Because if you were, if you never looked at it, if you never looked at it, you would never be worried Hi, you? about your personal safety of being dogs. You know, I, let, let's not even, let's not even count what happened to Celine, right? Let's keep it between these three talents. Why would you be worried? Because you were never supposed to receive those documents in the first place. One section of this document alludes to where Millie and Anna and I live. However, there are also harmful claims Helen made in the document about some livers' personal information exactly, that we believe are Jay. simply untrue. I felt threatened and scared. Chat GPT and scripted. I mean, this is definitely scripted. They had to. If lawyers are involved, it's scripted, which which is okay, chat. That's totally fine. Uh, that's scared not speaking out about the situation because of what the risk that it could out. pose to not just my own safety, but the safety of those around me as well. I'm very sad that this is how everything had to turn out. And I deeply apologize to all the fans who have been affected through this time. When Selene had posted the tweet about her cover being privated, several EN members reached out to Selene and we expressed our concerns. Lawyer GBT, right? Uh, the bigger question is who wrote the script exactly, Gray? Like, and, and we know that at the end of the day, Nija Sanji wrote this script 100%. We were genuinely concerned and we wanted to understand the situation as we were all in the dark about it. Once she notified all of us regarding her hospitalization, we immediately reached out to her, each other, and her manager to confirm her safety. Her manager also immediately reached out to her and her emergency contact and kept us updated throughout the entire situation as well. My issue with this, chap, is this 100% feels like they're blaming Celine. It really feels like they're blaming Celine. They're like, oh no, you know, we tried to reach out to her, you know, we did our part. We were worried, like, okay, proof. You know what I mean? Like, it really does feel like a mass thing of a folly. It really does feel like that um, he just saw you force them to say all of these things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a smear campaign, literally. They're just, they're trying to shift the blame to Celine. It feels like victim blaming. And that's what upsets me the most. Uh, one thing I asked my question, who are the lawyers? Are they the Livers team? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I will bet you money, Necro. And this is part of the issue. They have lawyers, but they're Ninja Sanji lawyers. They're not their own independent lawyers. And that's what sucks about it. That's what sucks. And so they're even more trapped because they're getting fed information from lawyers that are biased for Ninja Sanji. I truly 100% believe that. That is my opinion. Yeah, there's no proof either. It's been a very tough time for a lot of us. And I'm honestly not sure what else to say, but thank you again for everything, for waiting, and thank you. Why did they need to put um, a public video out about this? Like, why didn't they just do this <laughs> behind closed doors? This is a smear campaign. Um, Thanks, Alira. Um, no, you're no right. worries. Yeah, it's um, it's it's it has been a really really tough time, and uh, hey, man, he thinks it'll effect. follow. Uh, I've I've noticed it's had an effect on, on on everyone. It's had an effect on me too. So uh, I'm joining this stream to talk about my experiences with Selen, uh, to lend some of what I know to help. I love this right here. This should not be a monetized stream. To, um, help you all understand the context of this a little bit better. Uh, I know that a lot of you watching are going to have your own views and opinions on the situation, and so all I would like to ask is that you can take the information that I'm going to present at face value, if you can. So, uh... So I do want to, I do want to say this. Vox, this is Vox, Jade. The Vox has said 
You can take this at face value, all right? So that's great. We're going to take it at face value, all right? He told us we can take it at face value. So if you don't agree, that's okay. Because he gave his permission to take it at face value, right? Uh, this recent situation uh, began when Selene claimed on Twitter that her most recent song cover had been made private by staff. And she gave no context or reasoning as to why. In actuality, she had been asked to send the content of her music video to her manager in advance of the release date so it could be checked for content, etc., which is something that all livers agree to do. Her manager communicated with her about this very clearly, um, but she released her cover without giving management time to check it, and as a result, it needed to be made private. It they literally use Vox. They literally use Vox. As a mouthpiece to say, hey, Celine fucked up. She's in the wrong. Was going to be made public again once the checks had cleared. Uh, management absolutely intended to let her release the cover once they'd made sure that it was okay to release. It's very important to establish this pattern of events had happened before on multiple occasions, including BS, a yeah. guys tournament in uh, August of 2023, uh, a voice pack in May of the same year, and an outfit contest also in May. In each of these situations, Selene would be working on one of the projects I mentioned. She'd be given clear communication about confirming certain aspects with staff, as all other livers receive and comply with. And each time, she would refuse to cooperate. And when staff would... So I do want to stop right here for a second, chat, because um, we're, we're going to come to an impasse as, as, um, as human beings, where we decide what side we're on here. So... Do you, do you blame the livers in any way, shape, or form? Or do you blame the livers? Now, I will say this. I truly believe, I truly believe that the livers had pretty much a gun to their head. Yes, they made the choice to have Hello? to say this, but Hi. remember, this is their well-being that is tied to this whole mess. So I think that they're just protecting themselves. I think a lot of people are, right, uh, exactly, uh, Kamaris. A lot of people are, um, you know, losing respect for Vox and blaming Vox, but, you know, oh, they chose this and things like that. I really don't think in the situation that they are in, they, they did not have a choice. I really do feel that way. Now, I'm not a big fan of Vox's words here, it does kind of read, it, it does read like he is not reading off a script. Like the way that he talks, um, it, it's very more fluent. Um, whereas like, um, Ilera uh, definitely sounds a lot more like she's reading from a script, no deviation monotone. You might have a choice, right? You might have a choice to read and not read this, right? But if you don't read it, you lose your job. Or other various things in Ninja Sanji. Are you willing to lose your whole livelihood because you don't want to read a statement that your company wants to put out for you? It's a tough decision. You know, it's a tough decision. And only you can make that decision, right? As a person. You know what I mean? But for them, their job and well-being is more important. I can't say that I blame them. But that was their choice, so... ...would react appropriately. She would make public statements that would hurt any color's reputation. And as these situations kept occurring, myself and other... Oh, yeah, this definitely destroyed their careers. We felt that these... Yeah, that, them doing this destroyed their careers, though. But they, they made that choice at the end of the day, right? They said, all right, I, if I'm going to read this, I take the chance of, you know, tanking my career. But I might hold on to something. We're going to see. Statements harmed they took all that of chance. us as a group. That was their choice. Excuse me. So it's this context that I hope explains damn why myself do, and all, right. some other livers decided to approach Selene and ask about her handling of the latest situation. Was her cover being made private? So some livers, myself included, asked Selene why she tweeted about the cover in the way that she did, uh, expressing that we felt it was unnecessary and harmful. According to Selene's lawyer, it's. This by we, they mean Ninja Sanji. 
this event that they claim to be a build-up of, uh, or, and what they claim to be a build-up of past experiences that led to accusations made by Selene that she was bullied and harassed. As you can imagine, this is incredibly serious, and I want to state that throughout my friendship with Selene, I did my best to support her in private and talk to her about any problems she might have been having whenever I had the chance. Having thoroughly reviewed the documents sent to AnyColor by her lawyer, and based on what I know... Why are y'all reviewing the documents Selene sent to Nijasanti? That's not how <laughs> lawyer documents work! That makes no sense! You should have not been tied into that at all. None of that. Ninja Sanji admitted live on stream chat that they illegally gave the library's documents. I just I just want you to understand that, right? Oh personally, and have been told by Selene as her friend, myself and other members vehemently believe these claims to be completely untrue. So, so let me tell you this, uh, Jay, because I've seen the argument. Oh, well, some of the some of the uh, parts may have been redacted, and this and that. But let let's say that that's true, and legally everything is okay. But let's look at it from a moral view. Morally, why would you involve the livers in the legal process between you and another talent? Morally, it made no sense for you to do that. I feel very confident in saying um, that the way. I and other livers communicated with Selene about this incident was fair and reasonable, especially considering our built-up anxiety over this repeating pattern of behavior. In I think that Vox uh, saying all this, and, and very off script, right? And, and he definitely seems like the leader of like the, oh, Ninja Sanji didn't do anything wrong. That was complete shot in the foot. Just, just death to your career. In my so opinion, dumb. I do not think that it was a form of harassment. So here's the other part that we got to talk about. He also says, so in my opinion, this was not harassment. Well, what's weird about that is nobody said anything about harassment or bullying or anything like that. Feels like we're playing Among Us and somebody just self-reported. Like, if we're not sure, it's still very sussy at the end of the day given to any color by Selene's lawyer, it stated that Selene had secretly recorded me in a private voice call without my knowledge or consent. Now, I have absolutely zero memory of what I might have specifically said in that recording, but we know it was on the topic of the tweet that I had made around the time of AR Live's cancellation last year. From what I know, based on this document, uh, Selene had wanted to use this as proof of staff showing favoritism Don't cut me some members over there others. Form. Why as you bring at it up? the time, I wasn't... That's my point, Raven. Like, why did you even bring that up? It seems so recommended weird. ...recommended by staff having made that tweet. Yeah, it's not legal I in Canada. I followed this issue up with my managers, and I was told that they didn't reach out because they didn't want to cause further controversy at the time. Uh, however, I've been asked to delete other tweets on multiple occasions when I've accidentally broken a rule. In these cases, we're politely informed that when we should avoid tweeting something, uh, we apologize, delete it, and move on. There is clearly favoritism when it comes to that. Yeah, there's clearly favoritism when it comes to that. <laughs> yeah, look, even in chat, there's favoritism, though. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, chatter. This feels so weird that that box is almost like really stepping up to bat and fighting for Ninja Sanji. Like, But here is what I think just so far. Based on how Vox self-reported and brought this thing up about bullying for no reason, it really feels like to me that he did something wrong and his only choice is to fight on Ninja Sanji's behalf. But also that these recordings were held without my knowledge. Yeah, the black screen is so bad, year. right, Pocket? The fact that this was held throughout our friendship is really upsetting to me. Until now, I had always looked up to Selene as my senpai, and I felt really lucky to be her friend. Having to talk about this now and seeing how this has played out is, again, heartbreaking. Leaving Niji Sanji I is no always idea. an option for life. Uh, if she had wanted to graduate before, it just feels very weird how much Vox is stepping up to the plate. She was given very many chances to do so amicably, and 
On multiple occasions, Selene had told us she planned on graduating, but would then go back on this shortly after. Selene had said before she did plan on graduating at some point. She wanted to, but she was terminated before she even got that chance. After being warned by staff due to her repeated rule breakages in May of last year, told other livers that she was being terminated at that time, when, like I said, she had just been warned, nothing else. Because I trusted her so much, and I listened to Why? Why do you know that? That's my question. Why do you know that? You should not know that. Ninja Sanji should have never revealed that information to you. To her narrative of half or untruths about her relationship with any color. Yeah, evidence? This caused me so much anger on her behalf that I had considered graduating with her in solidarity, seriously. And I now know that my intense feelings at the time came from omitted context and falsehoods. And that, once again, is heartbreaking. The fact that they're dragging her name, not only do they try to set her up, but they also had Vox made out to look like that he was this good guy. Oh, I'm going to graduate with you because I, I, I want to do this with you because Ninja Sanji is so bad. And then for them to flip the script like that and go, oh, no, there was omitted, uh, there was omitted context. So I did the right thing. That is such a manipulation on your emotions. I'm incredibly happy with my job. And even in the face of times as hard as these, I really wouldn't want it any other way. Selen having been my friend and having hurt me and my fellow livers in this way, her attempt on her life will never ever be something to be taken lightly. I recall the moment when I and, and uh, other livers found out about what had happened and we prayed for her safety then and we still do. Regardless of the outcome of the situation, I genuinely want nothing more than for Selene to grow and to be in a safe place where she can look after her health, insofar as me and the, and the rest of Ian can heal in our own way too. The fact that you continue to drag her name and use her uh, attempt on her life as another sticking point into that is just a complete contradiction. To those of you watching this stream, please, please leave her be. Harassment of any kind is vicious, and it's insane, and it has no place in this community. And that's that's that, that's all I need to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vox. <clears throat> uh, before we round things off, I also had something that I wanted to say. It's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit on the shorter side. Uh, by the way, hi, I'm Mike. I'm a little bit all over the place right now. <clears throat> I considered Selen as a good friend within Niji Sanji Ian. Oh my god. Be it on stream I used to like Ike. Off stream. We like Ike. We always managed to get on really well. So um, that's why it was so shocking for me to learn that any color had received these documents from Selen's lawyer. Learning about what was contained within these documents was to me personally in incredibly saddening. Knowing that, yeah, the things no, that said guy, exactly. The document were coming from the very same person that I called my friend was hurtful and disappointing. The fact that they put this on uh, Alara Pandora's channel instead of the official one is a huge, huge deflection move. Like that's that's so bad to use your talent as the meat shield and on top of that historically livers have never made comments on other people's graduations or terminations so was celine's messy absolutely but did celine leaving have anything to do with the livers the fact no that I really don't know how to describe this is not Ike only Cardi. because of it made me now re-examine our entire friendship but Primarily because the document contains some information that we believe is incorrect, that could be harmful for us, and it's just private information that is very terrifying to have being, you know, shown before you like that. Again, why do you have that documentation? 
Ninja Sanji could have also admitted important document points and made it look like it was a very scary situation. Look, and this is why I truly believe the livers are trapped more than anything. But in spite of this, I feel and like why the didn't public have, deserves um, to, at the very least, be aware of the existence of these the documents. The CEO state is first. As well as, as of some of its contents. For the sake of transparency and honesty. We understand that the past week of radio silence has been really difficult for all of you. But please rest assured that we have been working very, very hard to try and understand what it is that we can and cannot say about this. But we wanted to make sure that what we shared was as much as we were able to share. I, I just want to say again, this is not the way to do with this. Ninja Sanji should have A, posted this on their official channel, or B, had the CEO come out with his apology first and, and never posted this. The fact that the CEO has been so silent through all of this, except, oh, negligible. Really just makes Ninja Sanji look like complete dicks either way. Within Ninja Sanji EN, everyone always makes an effort to make sure that anyone who wants to be included in something has the opportunity to do so. And all of us will continue to do our utmost to provide a safe and fun environment for fans to enjoy together. And uh, lastly, to round this off, I want to reiterate, please do not spread hate to anyone involved in any way, shape or form or anyone in general, honestly. We ask that in these times you allow us to continue our activities without asking us for any additional information about the situation. At this point, it's an issue for the lawyers. We ask that I love you do that. not pressure any of us to discuss the matter beyond this point. Please reach out to any color for contact regarding anything else. And I think that's everything for me. Thank you all for your time. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you. They should have said nothing, but the fact that Ninja Sanji wants so hard to blame shit and so hard to be the ones that are right, even more so now, proves to me that they are the ones in the wrong. A release was intentionally done. Intentionally done. While Doki was live. So let's look at what Doki says because this is very relevant to the video that we just watched, all right? I will say it was never supposed to be shown to anyone other than me, my lawyer, and other relevant lawyers. Doki confirms that those documents were never supposed to be seen by the other talents. It was a private document with my own personal information and was used as a legal document to help my lawyer and document my thoughts. Plus, it was never supposed to be released anywhere else to any other parties outside of a legal department. It makes me wonder my medical and hospital records also released without my consent as that was also promised for me to me to be kept private. I'm currently talking to my lawyer and thankful and thankfully only my diagnosis and reason for the hospital stay were reported without further private info being disclosed. It's requested that none of this info should be revealed to anyone other than legal. Thank you for everybody for the support. I really wish things didn't have to go this way. I didn't say anything more and I'm ready to move on and start a new life. The fact that this was released by Ninja Sanji to the livers, I wanna make sure that we focus that that is the real problem because everybody is attacking the livers, right? We don't know what they had in front of them. We don't know if Ninja Sanji altered it and told them a false story. We don't know if Box stepped up to the plate because maybe that was the case. And, and regarding a document, there was a signed legal, there was a signed doc, there was a signed legal consent between me and the management that it was just going to be between me, my lawyer, and management. But the fact that they released that to others is considered illegal because that was not supposed to be seen by anyone else. Very upset and very panicked. You can hear it in her voice. I gotta tell you, this was my thoughts as well. Uh, why is uh, Ninja Sanji members... Um, why are we having Ninja Sanji members talk through Alir's uh, channel instead of their official channel? And why isn't management speaking about the issue? Well, that was my uh, thought process as well. I was like, why is Ninja Sanji management not saying anything? Well, chat. Well, chat. 
Angel Sanji Management has now officially stepped in with their thoughts on everything, addressing your concerns from the Ninja Sanji page. So here we go, guys. Hello, I'm Rick Tazumi, CEO of Enikara Inc. I'm making this video to speak directly <laughs> to you, villain. the fans of Ninja Sanji EN. First of all, I deeply apologize for causing concern to many people. Please allow me yeah, he does this look time angry. He's to address your concerns. First, let me apologize for misunderstanding the caused <laughs> by the <laughs> notice <laughs> published on our investor relations page on February 7th of Seren's contract. We received questions from investors regarding the impact this would have on company performance. The notice was published to respond to investors. In the notice, we unfortunately used the expression negligible to describe performance impact. Our wording lacked consideration for the situation and caused Nissan EN funds and everyone who supports the Buchiba industry to feel that Enikaro Inc. undervalued the impact of Seren's contract termination. A uh, mistranslation or a bad translation was not the case at all. Not the case at all. Use that wording on purpose. And I know that they had a professional translate that correctly. So I don't believe that. I deeply regret this outcome and will be rethinking how our communication in English is done. Without a doubt, yeah, Seren was good. integral to the growth of Nissan GEN. As a company, it is truly unfortunate that our relationship ended the way it did. We regret that the notice we published on February 7th was worded this way. We may I really hate the fact that they're apologizing for the wording and not the way that they treated the situation. Made it sound like our company does not value the hard work of our yeah, labor. Yeah, carefully skirts I around the fact uh, that they needed to apologize for Next, anything. Next, I will address He says, I deeply apologize, chat, but again, we made it sound like our company does not value the hard work of our libraries. Of our libraries. I deeply apologize. Chat GPT. Next, I will address the feedback to our announcement, which led to the idea that... Yeah, I, op I apologize that you felt that way. I apologize that you misperceived what we meant. Any Girl Inc. may not be providing a safe environment where the rivals can maintain good mental health. We take full responsibility for this situation. Pull out the ukulele. Where not only Any Girl Inc., but also our rivals are receiving hurtful messages. I deeply apologize to our rivals and to everyone who supports them. Company actions have led to the distress of our rivals, and we are taking this situation very seriously. Please understand that some rivals Hi, may choose to temporarily step back from social media. The management team continues to communicate with rivals to provide any and all support in every way they can. We will be implementing several new internal systems to ensure that the rivals can resume streaming activities while maintaining their well-being. What? What internal systems are you putting in place to make sure that the rivals can maintain their well-being? What internal system? If everybody is on you about mental health and taking care of people, why would you not tell the specifics from of that? Where are the receipts? Where's the proof of what you're going to do? Because you say all this, but where is it? Also, by establishing things, such as better reporting systems, we aim to create an environment okay, where, where you can better identify and resolve issues more quickly. Where's Next. the press? I would like to address the concern that has been raised by fans who have been supporting the Buchiba community regarding whether Enikara Inc. has been supporting Nisanji Ian enough. Regarding YouTube content, 
we did not have official programs available until fall no. last year. Other than content for the 3D event in Karas <laughs> in Mark. February last year, there has been a lack of 3D live content. However, in the why are you talking about just uh, want you to lack know of LRE content? Or a we don't classes. care. We want we want to know about the situation. Not your stupid 3D concerts. I don't give a fuck about your 3D concerts. I want to know about what the fuck you're doing to address the situation. Stop deflecting me, Jasaji. Jesus Christ. This has me so angry. You are the most unprofessional business professional I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God. My 92-year-old grandmother can handle this company better than you. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to know anything about your 3D concerts. Tell us you fucked up and you're sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no wonder you're, no wonder. No wonder your stock is down 15%. In the meantime, we have spent the past year recruiting and working on strengthening the EN staff. However, in the meantime, we have spent the past year recruiting and working on strengthening the EN staff so we can provide more people and indentured servants to provide content for Ninja Sanji. We can better provide content for Ninja Sanji EN. Since last year, we have also started multiple new projects that are still in progress. In addition to supporting Rivers on activities, we hope this will help improve our Nijisanji EN content offerings. One of them is the game event stream that was scheduled to be held on the 11th. However, considering the situation after recent events, this event is being delayed so that we can properly direct our full attention to reviewing and ensuring the quality of our library's well-being. As a company, we intend to do everything in our ability to support Nissan Ian and meet the fans. Oh, sorry, Chad. I fell asleep. Um, I can only take so much bullshit in thirty seconds. Finally. I apologize for not just recent events, but also pre-existing areas that needed our attention. Our rivals are irreplaceable, each and every one of them. Beyond being business partners, we must protect as a company. To everyone who there. has and continues to support the rivals, I am very sorry that situations were allowed to arise where our dedication to their well-being was not clear. I feel that this should never be the case. Once more, personally and on behalf of our company, I apologize to you all. As Enikara Inc., we will do everything we can to ensure that we create and maintain an environment where the rivals can succeed in their creative endeavors. <laughs> that was one of the worst responses I've seen in a long time. That was one of the worst responses I've I've seen in a long time. Failure. Yeah, I mean that was that was really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. But chat too, so you did not address anything very carefully skirted around the fact that Ninja Sanji didn't do anything wrong. And the only thing that they have to apologize for is their wording on stuff and their lack of telling you that they have put things in place for mental wellness. Absolutely gross. You didn't do anything. You didn't address anything that anybody had any issues about. This, this was a nothing sandwich. Now that we have seen their thread, and we, we know everything, right? We have uh, we have the live stream, we have the management. Ninja Sanji comes out with one more, one more post. Regarding concerns that have arisen to the current situation. In the stream done earlier by our livers, it was mentioned that parts of information from Celine 
and her lawyer was shared to them by any color. As mentioned in that stream and in the notice published by any color, uh, Celine and her lawyer claimed that livers affiliated with any color were involved and that they will hold any color ink legally responsible. Celine and her lawyer mentioned the possibility that they will also hold livers affiliated with the, uh, any color legally responsible. Just because, just because that they're legally responsible does not mean that a document that was sent to Ninja Sanji specifically needs to be shared with the livers. Either way, you don't even have to X it out. That, that's just, that's like basic, like, deduction. In order to check the validity of Selena or lawyer's claim, any color shared only necessary parts of information sent by a lawyer with their livers and led an internal investigation. You admitted that Celine sent you a document that was only supposed to be shared with you, but you still chose to share only necessary parts of the information sent by her lawyer with their livers and led an internal investigation. You admit that you have doctored and altered the information sent by her lawyers. The livers are not seeing the entire picture. <laughs> yeah, we have determined that we haven't done anything wrong because we say so. So um, we led an internal investigation and um, our investigation has come up with uh, no. -uh. To begin with any color has not made any confidentiality violations regarding submitted documents for legal claims such as these. However, regarding specific information and documents which Celine's lawyer requested that we do not share with our livers with utmost consideration in its request, uh, any color has not shared any such information. What? <laughs> you said shared only necessary parts of information. Has not shared any such information. My brain hurts. In addition, our libraries are not held to any confidentiality obligation regarding the information shared to them from any color. Thus, there are no legal issues regarding the information shared to the public in the stream made by our libraries. In addition, our libraries are not held to any confidentiality obligation. Oh, really? See, that's interesting because your libraries may not, but aren't you as a company, Ninja Sanjay? Oh, where our libraries aren't, so we can do whatever we want. But you are! You are! You can't just share legal documents! That's part of the confidentiality obligation! You can't just say, oh, well, my, my talents don't have to. That's not true! These talents are yours! You're liable for them! That makes no sense! After rigorous legal check, any color hereby declares that it has not made any confidentiality violations while checking the fidelity of claims made by Celine and her lawyers with its affiliate libraries. Anybody can declare anything, I chat. This is not declared from a legal representative. This, this is literally, this is exactly what they did. I declare bankruptcy! Anybody can do that. Anybody can legal. I declare that we have not made any confidentiality violations! Anybody can do that. It doesn't make it true. Thank you all so much uh, for coming by and discussing what is going on uh, with Ninja Sanji. So what do you think? What do you think is the future Ninja Sanji? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching.